Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I want to break down the team that I utilize for Elaine Descended. So, I decided to use LJ Kitties because... Why not? Like, I got them. I might as well take advantage of the fact that I do. And for the most part, this dungeon hits stupendously hard. And one thing that you can do to greatly increase your chances of success are to run heroin cards as subs and or leaders. Just utilize them on the team in some way, shape, or form. And I actually have Uruka. And I decided to make her 120 because I thought she deserved it. And she had like a leader swap latent from long ago because like I didn't know if it would ever like, you know, do any meaningful damage. But she now hits stupendously hard as a rainbow card with a 10 combo, a 5 attribute, and two sevens. That is a monstrous amount of personal damage. So she's actually like capping on both attributes, like one and a half cap on sub attributes without too much difficulty. So I thought she was a great addition to the team. Beach Mariel gives me the blind resist because the only thing that actually matters is resist aside from cloud and tape. And I chose Crusader's Shield. And Crusader's Shield is there because I'm able to activate it on floor three because floor four takes away your assists. So if I pop this seven turn shield on floor three, I get to floor four, lose my assists, I delay them, dance through all the nonsense. The shield is still persisting throughout the rest of the dungeon, and I'll kill the boss before my shield runs out, which means I actually survived. Other options are directly using a sub on your team that has a shield active skill, but Mariel also gave me the chance to use a time buff to get rid of the time debuff. Maybe that may make a difference, maybe, maybe not. Dark Athena has a delay active skill in their first skills form and that's all I was caring about and I want at least three turns and Dark Athena also hits reasonably hard which ensures that I can kill the boss in a timely manner because healing up enough is quite difficult unfortunately but Dark Athena does hit hard especially if you do match those TPAs and then my assists aside from the Crusader shield are all just things that gave me as much HP as possible like team HP awakenings I found cloud and tape resist depending on like which weapon assist I picked up, that sort of idea. So blue water damage reduction is probably the most helpful one possibly, or green. More so the point is have as much HP as you can, run heroin cards, and just take your time. It's not like a time dungeon. You don't need to go super, super fast. But with that being said, hopefully all you lovely ladies and gentlemen out there have a truly fantastic day. What's actually, what am I talking about? We're gonna watch the gameplay footage right about now. Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today playing through a lame descended. So, I have what I feel like should be options or solutions for this dungeon. Should. So I'm going to abuse the fact that kitties have 100% shield. So, I'm not even going to bother trying to do anything here. Consider it movement time debuff. Orb changing is rude. Still invulnerable. I'm just playing it safe. Safety is good. So now that I've transformed all the kitties, the first kitties back up again. Movement time has been debuffed. I should be fine, hopefully. So match all my colors. I could have taken more time. It doesn't matter too much. It's going to die, most likely. Okay, so Uruka can overcome the color absorb. Which is nice. Uruk is also giving me big stats. I like that too. And then I'm going to use this. I think I put it this way is a slightly higher chance Dark falls into place. Okay, on the next floor, floor 3, I'm going to use my long-lasting shield active to tank everything. Well, to easier tank stuff. So, we're going to put the shield that lasts for a while, and then we're going to do this.
Pretty sure this is gonna die. Unless these negative orbs really screw me over. Pretty sure it's dead. Outstanding. Alrighty. So, you wanna have a delay active on your base skill. So I'm just gonna just match combos to like just wait out this delay, clearing some negative orbs along the way. And now I go kitty active. My act my inherits are back up, so I can you know tank stuff again. Standing onto the next floor. So the shield active is giving me an edge. It's not the biggest shield, but the fact that everything hits so hard makes a big difference now. So we're gonna match and suffer through this part here. Oh, I actually got a heart match. It doesn't make a difference in this case. Okay. I didn't want to use Mario because the self-debuff is unpleasant because I may not kill it. Maybe? I don't know. Don't want to take that chance. So I'll just play with less movement time for a bit and then use Mario whenever I'm able to, basically. Or just, you know, get good. So the shield is still persisting and making me take less damage. That's a lot of orbs that I don't care for, it feels like. Whatever. I guess I could have TPA Dark, but the thing is, it's going to do enough damage anyways, I'm pretty sure. There we go. So, the shield is still persisting. I'm going to pop Mariel here, because I feel like I need to combo everything. That's pretty annoying. I know it probably seems wrong. I should have used Athena first, actually. Oh, well. Because Athena would have given me a buff to damage output. Okay, at least I hit 10. Not enough, but not dead either, so that's good. Not dead. Let's just match. Make my colors. What am I missing? I have everything. Just match them all. Okay. Alrighty, three deaths it took. One of them was definitely very avoidable. I made a pretty big blunder for the most part. But yeah, I feel like if you bring a... Long-lasting shield and or a card with a shield active skill as their base ability, but the movement time buff is kind of helpful. You bring a delay card. Should be pretty good for the most part. Do you need two LJ kitties from yourself and a friend? Not necessarily, but as Aza pointed out, Raw Dragon or Dark Raw Dragon cuts your health, which might become problematic because going to one health is not so good here. But with that being said, hopefully all you lovely ladies and gentlemen out there have a truly fantastic day. I wish you all the best luck in your own pad adventures, and happy puzzling. Alrighty, so almost the same LJ Kitty as what I used on my other account, but I brought Sophie along because she has a shield and a time buff fixer, so she can technically solve my problems. She shouldn't have double damage cap, should have SDRs, but it is what it is, unfortunately. So, we're going to keep abusing the fact that I'm invincible, because not dying is pretty great. <laughs> Alright, time debuff, but I'm invincible, so I don't really mind. And in theory, I could actually... Oh, I'm time debuffed. In theory, I could do some damage off of this, at least. On to the next floor. I still am invincible. I'll just take another turn here. Chaos Sword. Mm. 
I'm invincible, it's okay. So I'm gonna pop Uruka, then Kitty, and then we start going. As you wish. Algae gets rid of the locked dwarves, that's why. I don't know why I make a cross of green. I don't even have a cross of white canoe. I guess it looks pretty. Okay, it's really Uruka putting in work. This team doesn't hit that hard. I really should focus on dark TPAs in hindsight. Okay, we're just going to keep pushing through. I guess there's a chance all of these could match if it falls down. Nope. <laughs> On to the next floor. Alrighty, so I lose my assists, but I'm gonna delay with Vino. And I'm just gonna like try to get rid of these negative orbs, I guess. Still invincible. I'm trying to get rid of negative orbs. Okay, we kitty away now, where assists are back up. Oh wait, I didn't match blue. Oh, fish me sideways. some hearts on the board this could have been a bit more salvageable so I'm gonna keep my board not use LJ kitties active okay not dead but probably not alive really we're gonna find out if only I had a board that was activatable. Not dead is good. Tape resist is great. Okay. I don't know if I can tank this, and I don't know if I'm going to die, unfortunately. Okay, I have 65k. I have Sophie up. If Sophie's shield is preserved, I might live still. I do have an activatable board here, actually, so as long as I don't get one shot here, which I didn't, I'm okay. So I'm gonna activate while I'm at Ho ho ho! Level 120 makes a difference. We're gonna activate things. Alrighty, so I have a big shield to survive. I got rid of the time debuff. I heal up way to full health. We're going strong. Okay, so that was the biggest hit, thankfully, and I survived it. So, you know, that's great. Okay, now we just kitty away now. I don't think this could ever kill it, unfortunately. As long as it's not execute, I'm fine. Alright, fine is good. Still alive is better. Alrighty, let's match five colors, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Light is the only possible awkward color that's not... There's light now. I got it all, I'm fine.
pretty sure it dies just to kidneys. It's okay, I didn't make enough combos. Alright, we did it! We got away with making several mistakes. Yeah. Alrighty, so, once again, hopefully this video provides you some insight as to what you can do to tackle this dungeon. You also got to see what happens if you make a mistake. But at the same time, level up all your cards to 120 because you can possibly survive when you're not allowed to. Either way, hopefully you all have a truly fantastic day. I wish you all the best on your own pad adventures and... Happy puzzling. Hello, bus drop.